Homocysteine is an intermediate part of the methyl cycle. If you have high levels of homocysteine, then that indicates there's a block in the cycle and is associated with heart disease and stroke or other problems with blood clots. And in a pregnant mom, homo high homocysteine is associated with midline defects or neural tube defects. So if you have a child with, if you have a baby with a tongue tie or a sacral dimple or a heart murmur or anything along those lines, then you should suspect high homocysteine. Now homocysteine is created from methionine, which comes from the diet. And then once you have homocysteine, you have three different ways to process it and get rid of it. The first is to drop it down the transsulfuration process, which requires enzyme CBS. And depending on who you are, that enzyme might be really, really active or it might be really slow. Um, otherwise, you can recycle it back into the methyl cycle, which creates more methionine. If you're going to do the methyl cycle route, you've got two choices. You can, if there's methyl B12 and folate, then you can go this route. Or if there's betaine, you can go this route. This route is stimulated by phosphatidylcholine and phosphatidylserine.